Virgos. Right, so Virgos, we're going to be doing your weekly reading going from the 15th through to the 22nd of April 2021. Okay, so Virgos, quick few messages before I begin. Tarot will resonate with everyone at some point in their lives, whether that is just gone, whether that is coming, week, two weeks, months, even years. But it will resonate at some point because Tarot tells a story and everybody goes through some kind of cycle at some point in their life okay so please bear um bear that in mind with tarot um also if it does not resonate at this point in time do check your sun moon rising and venus signs okay your rising is your ascendant sign by the way um so do go ahead and check those as well and also there's an aries new moon that could affect you as well so don't forget to check out your transitioning signs as well okay in your current natal charts um, and then I have a whole bunch of videos up, okay, for the weeklies um, that you can go and check out. And some of them might end up resonating with you, okay? Um, especially your moon signs and your ascendant signs, okay? Also, this is going to be the last reading for this month, okay? Weekly reading for this month as I'm on a month's break. But I will keep you updated through my community posts, okay? So don't forget to check that. Hit the notification bell down below, okay? So that way you're notified when I post and upload okay so let's go straight in with your messages virgo virgo send me rise on venus from the 15th to the 22nd what do we have for virgos please what do we have for virgos what's going on virgos we have flexible virgos need to be more flexible either you are flexible or you're doing gymnastics something's going on here okay maybe you're taking up a new hobby i wish i was that flexible okay so there goes let's see what's going on there goes 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 rising venus please spirit nothing whoa there we go uh a personal issue reaches a resolution finally okay let's see what other messages we have if you're having a conversation with somebody and you're trying to resolve an issue you need to be a bit flexible okay with that person um definitely okay it's like a two-sided thing not a one-sided way some virgos may not like what i'm saying but i'm gonna say it the way i'm hearing it and the way it's coming to me okay so let's see what else is going on there it goes life lessons control issues okay so you've got control issues let go control issues leave it to the universal guides god okay be in the present moment and let go of the control issues okay when we try to control the situation inevitably we can get stuck in that as well okay so it's not really going to help plus control issue feeds the ego ego is something we don't want okay a little bit is fine yeah but not too much life lessons you can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to the to know the lessons and blessings they contain right so spirit is kind of saying here that these are all part of life lessons here okay um so maybe some of you guys are going through some kind of like karmic lessons here they're very small though mind you okay mind you they're very small i'm not feeling like they're big karmic lessons okay so just to put it out there to um you guys virgo sun moon rising and venus what do we have what do we have for virgo sun moon rising and venus We have for sun and moon rising and venus virgos from the 15th through to the 22nd please spirit oh my gosh wow virgos okay that was a bit nuts i don't know what happened there but okay all right let's see what's going on virgos <sighs> have to do that one again okay all right for your current energy you have prosperity begins triumph success is what's in the block position material harvest is in your conscious mind in your cranny position shadow in your recent past trapped in fear is in your subconscious mind partnership and alliance is in your near future for what you have in your personal environment is destiny and for the person you're dealing with or the external environment emotional withdrawal deception and envy is your hopes and fears and moving on is the outcome 
uh, for your current energy, you have memories of love, okay? That explains the trapped in fear here. Okay. All right, there goes. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Haha, <laughs> I heard Spirit say, you win some, you lose some, and you can't have it all. <laughs> nice. Virgo, so let's see. So Virgos, there is something here you manifested on the last full moon or a new moon and it's coming into fruition this full moon, okay? In the block position, you feel like something is not becoming successful or that, you know, whatever you've worked hard on, it's not really, you know, it's not it's not happening, right? There is this kind of like you know what? I just feel this is mentality again. It's like in your mind, Virgo, you're putting yourself in that that kind of mindset of saying but what if but what if but what if nothing what if it does happen because right now you've got prosperity begins right so what if it does happen okay so so you got material harvest in your conscious mind okay so there's something here about little is enough okay um you're really kind of in this mindset of it doesn't matter how much we have at the moment, but whatever I have at the moment is good enough, right? Appreciating what you have, really. But I also feel like this is kind of like praying and manifesting, right? Praying and manifesting uh, for abundance, success, and prosperity, definitely. Um, in the recent past, yeah, you definitely did some shadow work. Good, good, good. There was some shadow work done there. I don't like talking about shadow work too much because for every individual, shadow work is different. Um, in your subconscious mind, right, you're trapped in fear. So there's a lot of kind of like fears trapped in your subconscious mind. Uh, the what ifs again coming in. Um, this could be based on your past, past relationships, even, you know, just like childhood traumas, anything. It could be anything, right? But you definitely feel like, oh, okay, this is it. I can't release myself from this, this, this fear, right? I mean, you can. It's just your subconscious mind. Um, you do have partnership and alliance in the near future. So there could be opportunities presenting itself. Somebody giving you a helping hand. Not bad. Love it. Um, there's a completion of a cycle going on here. Okay. But another one is about to start. This is kind of like my card to say that. But I feel like this is like the crown chakra being activated. You've completed some karmic lessons. Okay. Um, you need to remember what you learnt from those karmic lessons in order to keep that cycle closed and shut and packed away, okay? Send it off in a suitcase. Right. Um, emotional withdrawal, okay? So the person that you're dealing with could be emotionally withdrawing themselves from the situation and contemplating, okay? They could be in memories of love about you. It could be, okay? But I feel like this is really you in a space of kind of relaxation, calm, just wanting to have some you time, okay? Definitely. Your fear is envy and deception. So you could be fearing that a person around you or people around you may, you know, envy you, be deceptive. If you go into another relationship, are they going to be the same again? Trapped in fear, Virgo. <laughs> but in the outcome, you will move past this. You will. You will. You'll move towards the light. It will all be okay. Because your overall energy right now is kind of like the past. The past. Okay. You could be... You could be subconsciously even thinking or dealing with a twin flame, right? Connecting with the twin flame and a subconscious mind. Anything is possible, Virgo. It's a subconscious mind. All right, let's see what the prosperity begins is. What are you doing? Virgo wants to talk to me. All right, let's see what this prosperity begins is for your current energy. Okay, let's see. Oh, there might be some good news coming in, but you're fearing the worst. But you know what? That stressful situation, all of those tensions in your mind, the stress in your mind, is all going to come to an end. You're just kind of in that headspace again. And let's see what this triumph success is. Wow, Virgo, cards are flying all over the place for you. What is this triumph and success? There go. What is going on with the energy? Okay. Whoops. I saw a flip card there. Is it just that one? 
<sighs> right, triumphant success is in the blocked position, so let's see what's going on. I feel like there's somebody coming in. Um, no, there's, there is some kind of communication coming in, and you feel a little bit challenged. It could be an apology coming in from someone in the past, or maybe you're expecting this person to come in and apologize to you. There is something here about needing to be balanced, okay, when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to manifestation. You need to have a balanced kind of energy here and take action on some things. Um, but again, that's kind of like a challenge for you right now, not being able to do that or this person not coming towards you. You're expecting this person to make an apology to you. Again, expectations. And that's what's causing the challenge, right? Maybe you're thinking about apologising to this person or maybe making a small gesture, but I feel like this person may have their back already turned towards you and their attention somewhere else. Let's see what this uh, material harvest is. Take it how it resonates. Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Magician. Yeah, I feel like you have been very clear in regards to whatever you're working on or whatever you are manifesting. You've worked hard, right, for this this manifestation. You've made it very clear to the universe uh, what it is that you've wanted and how you expect it, which is good because we like that. The universe likes that, especially when we're using the law of attraction and manifestation. And that is good because I definitely see abundance all around you. And that's your own energy right there as well. Good. Let's see what the shadow is in the recent past. You've been working really hard, really hard. Five of swords, seven of swords, six of swords, damn swords. What are we dealing with, an air sign? Uh, there was a lot of conflicting energy coming through here. I feel like if you're dealing with the twin flame, you could be mirroring this person. And that's where this whole like conflicting issue came in from. Okay, And you may have felt like this person was lying or deceiving at some point in all of this okay and so you decided to kind of move away from this energy and move into a calmer situation however because it's shadow work i feel like there could have been some kind of needing to face the truth okay needing to face uh these lies and deceptions needing to be clear about this kind of conflicting there could have been an argument between you and a person as well I feel like a lot has happened in the recent past, we're going to be honest. I'm getting loads of energy coming through. And they're not just one type of energy. They're like multiple types of energy coming through. Like some of you guys were dealing with the twin flame. Some of you guys were dealing with like your shadow side. Some of you guys were manifesting. Some of you guys are meeting someone new, right? There's so much, so much stuff going on. I'm trapped in fear. Wow. And that's exactly what I mean. There's just so much energy coming through. Wow. Okay. See what this trap in fear is. You're in a good place right now. Now, this could be somebody else as well, mind you, okay? But I feel like you're in a good place right now. This is someone who's really solid, um, that has a very solid foundation, is material materially happily happy, right? They they're very responsible, hard-working individual, Taurus, Capricorn energy um they're a hard worker they have their finances check work check family check everything in order check even their checks check right um and there's this like kind of grounding energy here but i feel like in your subconscious mind there is something about you knowing how you see yourself compared to how you are in the conscious world or how you're appearing in the conscious world let me show you it's like there is some kind of fear of becoming this person, right? Look at this. It's like there is this kind of fear in your subconscious mind in regards to the whole thing, okay? Uh, there's like, okay, in your subconscious mind, it's kind of like picking at things, picking at things, picking at things. <sighs> like how? How do I do certain things? Which way should I go about it? There's a lot of over-analyzing things, Virgo analyzing things again okay <laughs> i know i said it like that but it's kind of true because virgo is the hermit they're over analytical sometimes 
all right let's see what this partnership is you're over like thinking things but you're also being very careful okay because virgos are very careful when it comes to and um, try to be very organized as well when it comes to certain things that take they take serious right as well as partnership and alliances three cards coming out already yeah there's some kind of reunion here oh my god it could be meeting the soulmate here this could be a partnership that's coming from overseas an opportunity here that's coming overseas you could end up starting as friends with this person um but this person is definitely going to um i feel like you're going to be more focused on yourself right but i feel like this person is looking at you they're looking at you because right now in the present situation they're not in your um they're not in your environment but they're in your energy so they're definitely looking for their queen of cups and they see you as their queen of cups you just need to exchange those cups so i wouldn't be surprised if the two of cups do come out but yeah definitely i feel like they see you as somebody who is um someone they've never met before somebody outside of this circle of people they normally go towards or gravitate towards right so wow okay <laughs> wow um but this is also talking about loving yourself first but i feel like this person just loves you the way you are uh let's see let's see what this destiny is there could be a lot of conflict um uh, and disagreements going around in your home and family environment or with people around you whoever you live with um but i feel like in general there's a lot of harmony here there's a lot of happiness here i feel like you've just left it up to destiny right whatever the universe wants perfect but yeah i feel like there's just a lot of fun here i feel like you are attracting a lot of people as well let's see what this emotional withdrawal is let's see what this emotional withdrawal is three of swords hierophant five cups oh i feel like this is a past person i don't feel like this is a new person i feel like there has been some kind of separation and heartbreak um that you've had with this person and it could have been a very high kind of spiritual union or connection this person may have felt that you are a soulmate um and they definitely feel like there's no chance now definitely there's some kind of transition that's happened out of this connection already yeah so i feel like the person that you may be thinking about in regards to the past this person here um they definitely saw this as a high level commitment relationship for them okay or maybe you did but there is some kind of definite loss here a lot of pain how about the deception and envy you've got the three of pentacles the nine of cups and the ace of swords mm, i feel like whatever you're worried about okay i feel like it's not really going to happen <laughs> okay deception and envy i mean there's going to be a lot of people who are jealous of you okay and that's just because they see you as somebody who's getting their wish fulfillment somebody who's really happy somebody who's victorious there's going to be a lot of people jealous okay around you virgo because you're receiving this abundance okay they were gonna they, this could be in your work environment this could be people who work with you there is some kind of collaboration here there is something here okay about people around you this is in your own energy in your environment though okay that there's going to be a lot of jealous people around you just protect your energy okay um there is such a thing as evil eye protect your energy and make sure that you know uh these people don't and cannot inflict you with that energy okay it's not your energy to take on but i feel like with that ace of swords definitely definitely if there's any deception and any envy going on whatever those fears are you're going to overcome them with that ace of swords let's see what the moving on is about Woo! <laughs> nice okay there goes you've got the ace of pentacles with the two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles there is something here about coming into balance with a situation that you've been juggling for a long time but there is some kind of long-term stability coming in a huge huge opportunity coming in that you've manifested and i feel like it's going to take you towards some kind of long-term stable um committed kind of 
energy here, okay? I want to say person, it could be, but this is energy, okay? I'm picking up. Um, and you're definitely moving on into a karma situation. And even though it's a slow moving energy, but you know it's going to be for the long term in the end. Let's see what this memories of love is, because this seems to be disturbing you. So let's see what this memory of love is. Well, it depends how it's disturbing you, really. Virgo, check out the synchronicity 2002, okay? That might be of some significance to you. Uh, we have the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Moon. Ah, ish, nope. <laughs> There's this kind of insecurity and fear of um, a loss of connection, and I feel like you're trying to heal from that. You are. You're trying to heal from that, and that could have been the fear, okay, of should I invest, invest or not, you know? Um, but yeah, it's playing upon your subconscious mind. Again, I feel like you're walking away from it and you're healing through your subconscious mind, okay? But again, in general, I feel like you can't stop thinking about this person and how this person walked away from you or how you ended up splitting up with this person. Um, but remember, whatever happens is for the divine good, for your own highest good, because it's bringing in someone new, it's bringing in a completion, right? So, there goes. That's what I have for you. But don't forget to smash like, share and subscribe down below. All the good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys real soon. Love and light to you all.